promise you I'm going to try to make this a relatively quick one. I've been throwing out so many videos. But I had to share this. This is my Mac Pro 2006 1,1 1 .1, running El Capa 10, which can be done, although Lion is the uh, most recent version of the operating system that is supported on this Mac. Uh, it is not really that difficult to get El Capa 10 to run. Uh, maybe not quite as simple as installing through a DOS Dude 1 patcher and all of that. Uh, but actually this uh, version of doing it was quite simple and quite quick once the disk image was downloaded. Let's first of all look around some things and I must say it has made this machine using this machine much more of a pleasure. It's suddenly much more like using a modern Mac but let's look at about this Mac and we see El Capa 10 version 11.6 Mac Pro with the specs of the Mac Pro startup disk El Capa 10. The, the disks are over here. El Capa 10 is where I have it's the boot disk for duh, El Capa 10. The Macintosh hard drive is the boot disk I should probably change that name. Uh, for Lion, that's the original uh, 250 gigabyte drive that came with the machine. Tiger, oh, of course, is the boot disk for Tiger. Uh, Tiger and El Capitan are partitions on the same one terabyte hard drive, and that's a network drive. Unfortunately, I still can't get uh, external drives to mount so the network drive is the only way I have to transfer things and it, it, since it's all wireless here it, it is kind of slow. Now we'll click system report not really too much to look at it it, it hasn't changed the hardware is all the same. Uh, model identifier Mac Pro 1 comma 1 so this is a 1 comma 1 Mac Pro that is in fact running El Capa 10 software update. I caution you, fortunately I had watched through Greg Rutke's uh, Mac Pro videos and saw his warning video concerning security updates. The security updates through 2017 are perfectly safe. Security updates uh, for at, at some point in 2018 are not. So I went into the App Store and hid the security updater. Uh, now unfortunately that means I haven't got any security updates through the end of 2017 which would have been okay but we'll live with it. You know it's 10.11.6 it, is the most recent version that there is here. Uh, I did, I think I may have mentioned this, I did install the uh, stock graphics card that came originally with my uh, first Mac Pro 5 comma 1. All right, we can close out of that. And yeah, the apps work, I mean, this is nice, Safari works. YouTube comes right up and you can install other browsers. Uh, you won't hear this, you'll notice this is booted up to a Rutke Mods YouTube video. This is the video now, hmm, well, that's interesting. Uh, it's not the video that I had expected to come up. Uh, let's, let's go to subscriptions and Rutke Mods. Playlists. You go away. There's a zillion uh, playlists. He does so many very interesting Mac Pro. We'll look at the full playlist for Mac Pro Series 1. Okay.
and there are 39 videos in that series. The numbering doesn't really, really work up. Here is his video showing the downloading of the El Capitan disk image and how to do it. That was a bit of an adventure uh, because, of course, the only, yeah, I mean, doing it in Tiger would, would have been worthless, but uh, going back into Lion, I was able to convince it to download, but Waterfox, which I had managed to find that actually would run uh, on Lion, every time I started trying to download something, it would just crash. And I ended up having to restart it. It would give me an error screen, but I'd go into history and open just the download window, then it would download. Oh, that was an advantage, adventure. I got it done, though. All right, so you've got the series of the El Capitan disc list. That series is going to link to a couple of earlier ones. Number five in this list, although he calls it episode four, um, and number six in this list, titled episode five. Uh, those three videos together that I've just highlighted uh, will give you all of the information you would need if you ever want to get hold of one of these old machines and put El Capitan on it, which makes it usable in in the modern world. Uh, I mean, not on a professional level, but for, I mean, just light web browsing, it, it works fine. You can install other other browsers uh, that would still be supported. Uh, I'm going back to 2016 here, but it's, as I say, it's a lot more like a modern browser. Okay. I will put the links to those uh, three videos in the description. All right, I think we're good. We can close out of that. Messages works, and I do get messages from my iPhone as they come in. What it isn't able to do, of course, is messages on iCloud. Uh, mail has started bringing in various things, contacts. Yep, it's got all my contacts. We won't go into that in any great detail. FaceTime won't work because I don't have a camera uh, installed uh, on this. I could put a webcam on it. It would work. Um, but yeah, basically this, this is a functional machine. I can put on a number of uh, applications here uh, and it, it, it will work. Uh, I like having Tiger on there just for the blast from the past aspect of it and the fact that that's the way this machine first shipped. But now, now you can actually use it, which is really nice. Well, I certainly hope that you have enjoyed this. Uh, I will get it uploaded. I did start a playlist on the 2006 Mac Pro, if you want to find everything in a convenient, easy package. All right. Well, thank you very, very much for watching.